Next, followed by Senator Braun. And for the record, for people who came late, we actually have a third witness who happens to not be visible because he's with us electronically, but it's Mark Carney, who was the former chief of the Bank of Canada and the Bank of England. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Dr. Litterman, how long have you been studying climate change and possible solutions? Studying? Well, you know, I, I was the head of risk management at Goldman Sachs. I didn't worry too much about Tell climate change at that years, time. If you would, Doc. How many years? Yes. Let's say 15. All right. How about you, Dr. Holtz Eakin? Uh, about uh, 25. Okay. Um, Dr. Litterman, how much will it cost to make the United States of America carbon neutral by 2050? I don't know, sir. So you're advocating we do these things, but you don't know the ultimate cost? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I certainly don't know the ultimate cost, and it's very uncertain. It depends Dr. on, Hosekin, it, it you depends know on it innovations. It depends on... I, I understand. I'm just trying to uh, lay a foundation here to understand your expert testimony. Dr. Holtzikin, do you know how much it will cost to make the United States of America carbon neutral by 2050? Depends how you do it. If we do it all in the federal budget it, with directed things, it'll be Public super expensive. Public and private expensive. dollars. Sorry? Public and private dollars. It's, uh, it's ultimately private dollars anyway. Yeah, I agree. So but how much? You're going to look at $50 trillion. $50 trillion. Yeah. Okay, thank you. If we make the United States of America carbon neutral by 2050 by spending $50 trillion, which you're advocating, I gather. No. Okay. Then strike that last part. I'm wrong. You're not advocating. You're advocating something. Um, if you're going to do something, do if, something smart. That's what I advocate. Okay. If we spend $50 trillion to make the United States of America carbon neutral by 2050. How much will that lower world temperatures? I can't ask that because we don't know what China and India and the rest of the globe has done. Okay. Have you had heard anybody from the Biden administration say how much it will lower world temperatures? No. Does anybody know how much it will lower world temperatures? No? No one can know for sure. Okay. Dr. Litterman. Yes. If we spend $50 trillion or however much it takes to make the United States carbon neutral by 2050, how much will it lower world temperatures? Senator, that depends on the rest of the world. We have to work with the rest of the world. We're in this together. Well, it's what one if, world. What if, we can't what build if, a wall around what if, the United what States if, and say... What if... What if we spend $50 trillion, Europe cooperates, most Western democracies cooperate, but India and China don't. How much will our $50 trillion lower world temperature? We're in this together, Senator. We how have to get the world to you, work together. How much? I, understand, I get that. Okay. How much will it lower world temperatures? If China and India do not help. Yes. I don't know. Okay. Dr. Litterman, do, do you believe, based on your observation, you seem to be a very intelligent, well-informed man, based on your observation of Dr. Chi, of uh, uh, Mr. Xi Jinping, that Mr. Xi Jinping will ever do anything that is uh, inconsistent with China's best interests in the name of global climate change? I understand that China has a federal carbon tax. Okay. Yeah, but, but faced with a policy, okay, where China does something that's not in its best interest, but it does it because it's in the global best interest. Do you think President Xi would do that? I think that President Xi understands that we have to work together to address this global problem. Yes, I do. 
and it will be in the best interest of China to work with the United States to address this problem. So you think problem. the answer is yes? I think the answer is that it's in China's best interest to work with the rest of the world to address this problem, as it is in the United States' you, best interest believe, to work with the rest of the world to believe, address this problem, do you to believe, create harmonized incentives to reduce Do you believe emissions. in the tooth fairy? No, sir. Do you believe in the Easter bunny? <laughs> no, sir. Do you believe that Jimmy Hoffa died of natural causes? No, sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Braun. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've been here.